the eight pillars of effective lesson plan. Teaching at its heart is about creating memorable moments that inspire students to learn and grow. To achieve this, there are eight essential steps that can transform any lesson into a rich learning experience. 1. Learning objectives linked to Bloom's taxonomy. Setting clear, achievable goals is the foundation of any great lesson. Using Bloom's taxonomy can help in framing these objectives in a structured manner. For instance, remembering, recalling the main reasons that started World War I, understanding, describing in simple terms how water is moving in nature, applying, demonstrating how to use the triangle rule to find the longest side, analyzing, comparing how two old-time leaders are making decisions and leading their people, evaluating, discussing the effects on nature when trees are being cut down, creating, designing a basic city plan that is considering the environment, to an initiating strategy. Think of this as the attention grabber of your lesson. It's a fun or interesting thing at the start that gets everyone excited to learn. Begin with a question, a surprising fact, or even a short story. For a history lesson, perhaps start with a mystery from the past, presenting clues and asking students to guess the event or figure in question. 3. Engaging activities. This is the meat of the lesson. It's where students dive in and really start learning. For example, in a lesson about nature, the main activity could be setting up a mini garden. Sub-activities might include researching the best plants to grow or understanding how sunlight affects growth. Thor, assessment. This isn't just about giving grades. This is the compass that shows if the learning objectives were met. Instead of traditional tests, consider alternative assessments. Group projects where students collaborate and present their findings. Portfolios where students showcase their work over time. Reflective journals where students note down their learnings and observations. 5. Differentiated groups. Every student is different. Some might be great at math, while others shine in creative tasks. Recognize and celebrate the diverse strengths of students. Create activities tailored to different skill levels. For those who excel in writing, perhaps they could craft a short story or essay. Visual learners might create diagrams or infographics. Hands-on learners could engage in practical experiments or models. 6. Active movement. Break the routine with movement. This could be a short walk outside to observe nature for a biology lesson. A role-playing activity where students act out historical events. Simple stretch breaks or quick games related to the lesson topic. 7. Higher order questions. This step is about challenging students to think deeper and more critically. Encourage them to question, analyze, and reflect. Set up debates on current events, pushing students to use evidence in their arguments. Organize group discussions where students tackle complex problems, like ethical dilemmas in science or moral questions in literature. Use scenarios that require problem solving. For instance, after a lesson on economics, pose a question like, how would you address rising inflation in a developing country? Encourage reflective journaling, where students ponder questions like, how does this historical event relate to current situations? Or how would you feel in this situation? Use tools like Socratic seminars, where students lead the discussion and dive deep into topics, asking open-ended questions and building on each other's thoughts. 8. Outline plenary. Wrapping up is just as important as starting. At the end of the lesson, take a moment to go over the main points again. This could be through a group discussion where students share their biggest takeaways, a creative recap like drawing what they learned or creating a mind map, a quick quiz game where students compete in teams to answer questions about the lesson. By weaving together these eight steps, educators can craft lessons that are not just informative but also engaging and memorable. The ultimate goal is to inspire a love for learning and equip students with the tools they need to explore the world around them.